Hey there, welcome to the animated YouTube channel. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the basics of Adobe Illustrator. So this video will be for complete beginners who want to get started in flat style illustration. Let's start. First of all, click on file, click on new. A window like this will pop up. Rename the project file over here. Change this one back to pixels. And here I have I have given 1920 is to 1080 resolution and select this orientation and click on create. Alright, initially the interface will look something like this. If not, then click over here and change it back to essentials. And if it's already in essentials, then click on reset essentials. Okay, let's talk about the shape tools in Illustrator. These are the shape tools in Illustrator. If you click and hold, a window like this will pop up. First one is rectangle tool. So select the rectangle tool and click and drag. Like this you can create a rectangle with this tool. If you press shift and click and drag with the help of this you can create a square with, with the rectangle tool. Now let's zoom, uh, zoom in. So if you move your cursor over the corner you can see that you can select and drag these dots on each of the corners. So if you select and drag, you can simply round up the corners and same for the rectangle as well. If you click and drag, you can simply round up the corner like this. You can even round up one of the corners. If you select one corner, then you can see that this one has changed to blue. If you right now just click and drag towards the center you can round up one of the corners if you, you can even select more than one dots so for that click on one and press shift and click on the other one like this you can round up more than one corners so and with the help of square tool you can simply create a circle like this if you can if you fully round up the corners okay so let's talk about the other shape tools now the next one is rounded rectangle which is same as the previous one but by default it will give slightly rounded corners initially like this as you can see it's basically same as the previous one the next one is ellipse tool if you click and drag you can simply create ellipse like this and if you press shift and click and drag you can make a circle with the help of ellipse tool okay now there is a difference between an ellipse, a circle made with the help of ellipse tool and with the help of square. Let's create a circle with the help of square. So right now if you select the shape with the help of selection tool, you can notice that there is a dot like this over here, but there is nothing like this over here. So what you can do is if you select and drag like this, you can basically make an arc from a circle. Like this you can make a semicircle and like this one fourth of a circle like this. So this is the difference between circle made from ellipse tool and square. Okay, let's delete it. Next one is polygon. To create polygon simply click and drag and if you don't want this to rotate like this, press shift to properly align it with the line of horizon. Now to increase the sides. The shortcut key is up key like this and press shift to align it with the uh, with the help of ship and to decrease the side of polygon the shortcut key is down key and the list is a tri triangle so you can make triangle with the help of polygon tool okay so let's talk about the start tool for now so if you click and drag and press shift, you can simply align your star like this with the help of line of horizon. Now, if you want to increase the spikes in star, then the shortcut key is up tool, up key. Like this, you can just increase the spikes, number of spikes in your star. And if you want to decrease the spikes, let's just delete all of it. Now, if you want to decrease the spikes, the shortcut key is of the down tool. I mean the down key like this and the list is a triangle again for this star tool. 
Now, a triangle created with the help of star tool is different from a triangle created with the help of polygon tool. So let's create a triangle from polygon tool. Okay, so the difference is if you click or select these two triangles with the help of direct selection tool, this one, you can notice that there are three extra anchor points in the triangle that has been created with the help of star tool. So for triangle purpose, I would recommend to use polygon tool. All right, so that is it for shape tools. Now let's create a face of a character in flat style all using simple geometric shapes. So let's create a, re let's take the rectangle tool and I will create a rectangle like this over here and round off the corners. And after that, we have to change the fill and stroke. So you can see there is a boundary around the shape. This is the stroke of the shape and inside color is the fill. Right now, stroke is black in black color and the fill is in white color. If the first one is the fill color, if you click and double click on it, you can change the color of your fill. Let's pick this color and we have to cancel out the stroke. Let's understand how we can increase or decrease the width of the stroke. Now for that we have to come over here in properties panel and the, here there is the strokes option. So for that to increase the width click on up and to decrease it click on down key like this. You can even click over here and change on whichever points you want to pick. To cancel out the stroke, select the stroke over here and cancel this. So right now let's create the hair of the character with the help of rectangle tool again. Now for that I'm taking rounded rectangle and I will simply round with something like this and I will select both the shapes and align it horizontally left. And after that, I will select this shape and change its color to something dark to resemble the hair of the character. Let's select the ellipse tool to create the ear of the character. And after that, I will copy the same shape and paste it in the same place. The shortcut key for copying is Ctrl C and for pasting the shape in the same place, Ctrl Shift V. All right. And now I will just scale it down a bit and pick a darker shade of this color. Okay, I will simply select and group the whole thing and scale down. To scale down, you have to press shift and then you have to scale down to scale up or scale down with all from all the direction with same proportion. Now come over here in layers, we have to move this eye layer behind the face layer you can simply select and drag like this or else you can use the shortcut key ctrl plus the left third bracket to move it behind and ctrl plus the right third bracket to move it above okay now select and duplicate this shape for that press alt and drag like this and press shift to align it with the line of horizon like this okay for eyebrow, I'm going to use rectangle tool again and make it rounded. And after that, I will again take the ellipse. Sorry, we can also use rectangle tool. Let's use the rectangle tool for eyes. And after that, I will simply round up the corner like this and I will change its color to white and just put this layer behind. Let's scale it up. To scale up or scale down from an artwork, the shortcut key is Ctrl plus minus to scale down and Ctrl plus up plus to zoom in. Zoom out, zoom in, all right? Okay, and this will be the retina. So I will pick a dark color like this. You can even pick this or this color. To pick one color, just simply press I to select the eye picker tool, I mean the color picker tool. So after that, select, click, click on the color like this. It will simply pick that particular color. Okay. After that, I will just duplicate this shape and 
put it over here like this and simply put, give it white color for the reflection and I will group it to group the whole thing I mean if you group a shape if you select one shape you, the whole thing will be selected together if you want to ungroup it select and click ungroup it will be ungrouped now let's move it behind and I will also group it again with the eyebrow let's move it slightly over here and after that I will simply duplicate and transform and reflect right now we have to reflect it vertically which will basically reflect the shape with respect to an imaginary vertical line all right now let's select both of it and group it even eyes and group it now select the face select eyes select ears and click over here and align to properly align it with the line of horizon okay now for the nose I'm going to use rectangle tool again I will pick this color okay and for mouth I'm going to use rectangle tool again and simply make a shapes near to semicircle like this and I will pick this white color for this all right so with this our simple face of a character is done we're all using simple geometric shapes now in the next lesson we are going to learn how to create a whole character or how to design character in flat style all using simple geometric shapes so if you like this video then make sure to hit that like button if you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye